Hey guys, Will here. It's been a stressful night so far. It's what time is it? It's, uh, three in the morning, and we've had all sorts of dramas trying to get in to get this session working today. But we're finally here. Check we're in practice. The, the qualifying is just about to start. We're going to be testing out the brand new 
Porsche 911 GT3 car in iRace. This is going to be releasing in the next few days. I'm really enjoying driving it so far. Done a little bit of practice during the week, but we're going to jump straight into qualifying now. And uh, yeah, hopefully go well against these guys. Emily Jones is here and she is very, very fast. Uh, yeah, Tony Kanan's here. Dan Suzuki's here. Jardir's jumped across from ACC for a little while to jump in. There's a whole bunch of people here. So hopefully all goes well. I'm going to just jump straight into qualifying now because we've only got 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at what this car's like, huh? All right. Let's get out there. Now, it is a open qualifying Complain session. Speed limiters, 50 so, kilometers per hour. Whoop, don't want to get pinged for speeding in the pit lane already. Pit exit looks clear. Okay, well, we've got 20. Laps to okay. get the job done, mate. Yeah, we don't want to get pinged for speeding the <laughs> So, so far, what I can tell you, the car feels pretty much like a cross between the old cup car and the, um, and the RSR. So, very similar between the two. Thanks for the sub, Bill. All right. Still there, clear right. Whoa, missed the turn. Left side, <laughs> clear left. Tony Kanan missing the turn. Hey, Will. Uh, hey, Tony, how you doing, mate? I just wanted to make sure I was on the YouTube video, so I died one. Eminent's gonna own it. I don't wait. So sorry to sort of just launch straight into it tonight and not have a chance to chat with you guys beforehand, but we uh, weren't allowed to stream before the qualifying started because it's a brand new car. They didn't want people streaming before they started streaming. So, oh, what? Okay, let's go. We've got Tony behind us drafting us. Oh, understeer. That's an off track. You know it, you know fast. it. Car right, clear right. Jardy behind me now. Okay. Now, uh, more revs doesn't work very well. It starts to, starts to peak out. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to over rev this car, at least it seems. Okay. Jardier pass. On your left. Not going to be a fast lap this lap. Screwed the entry. Alright. It's good. I'm really enjoying it so far. It's, um, yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of like a cross between the old cup car and the RSR, so it's a little bit faster. It still doesn't have, it doesn't have ABS, so it does, um, it is a little bit difficult under brakes still, but, yeah, the garage pages, not sure what you mean by that, mate. 
Oh, right, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I'm not sure, I, yeah. We, it's a fixed setup, and I'm pretty sure it's locked out, so... We'll have a look if we have time. Maybe I'm missing something and it's supposed to have ABS. I don't know, it definitely doesn't have ABS by default with this setup. Unless I'm missing something in the garage. New fastest lap for Jones, 140.9. Yeah, it's better than the current car, I think. P9, you're currently 2.9, off the leader's pace. Just done a 143. Alright, let's try and get a quicker lap in now. Ah, oh, it's locking up. Yeah, it's definitely less temperamental than the other than the previous model. It's a lot more compliant, a lot easier to drive. It slides like you got a lot of power on oversteer, the power sliding and stuff, but it's not. It doesn't try to loop on you constantly. again. The FGT Elite review will be up on the 18th. Give me some sleep stream. The next live stream. Sector one time is good. Come on. You can see there the back end kind of moving around on me a little bit. I'm not going to talk about the cockpit until I've reviewed it. The guy behind has just done a 144.0. Lap for Jones, 140.7. Good 
Sector one is not Yeah, the tyres are shagged, the but there's nothing I can do about it now. I'm going to qualify last anyway, so... That's the end of the session. There we go. Going. That's all right. I was expecting that anyway. So... There we go. Okay, we weren't dead last. Maxim's still behind us. Okay, that's all right. We can make up some ground. I didn't want to be up near the front anyway, because I didn't want to get completely swarmed, so I wasn't too worried about... And I know it's going to sound like an excuse, but I really wasn't too worried about um, Good luck, qualifying guys. high up. How, uh, can I get it? Guys, sorry. How do we solve this car? Like, full brake, full brake? <laughs> the JD hasn't... Uh... Yeah, you can do that, yeah. or you can clutch down to about 30%. Thank you. All right. But we're nice and safe at the back here, so... <laughs> Let's see how we go. Get my relative screen. We've got two races here. Second race is a reverse grid. And we've got a little warm-up race in between as well. Thanks, Damon Blitz. Appreciate it, mate. All right, let's do this. Looks like everything's working. I think we're good. Try to get a good launch. The track temp is 43 Celsius. All right, well, let's okay, get let's this, do this. No fuck ups. Let's go. A little bit of wheel spin there. Whoa. <laughs> Not the launch I wanted. Okay, we're still in ninth. Now this is the first time I've driven this car in proximity to other cars, so... I've got to learn where its boundaries are as well. Right side. But yeah, I'm gonna take it nice and easy. Hold your line. Famous last words. Still there. <laughs> Have a little faith. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear right. Well, Maxime's gained two pla two places there. No, Dave Cam's not in it. Probably had work, I would assume. Whoa, big lock up, big lock up, big lock up. Okay, let's see if we can get going here. Oh, you in here, Dave? Hey, mate. How you doing? You're running last. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for letting me know, buddy. <laughs> okay. Just want to take it nice and easy and get a feel for the car near other people and not sort of be running up the back of anybody. Okay. Being held up a little by Maxim now, so let's see if we can make a move. I think it's up this Wednesday, but don't quote me on that. Just 
Don't tap her, don't tap her. <laughs> no! Car left. Clear left, on your left. Oh. Clear left. I don't know if that was my fault or not, probably was. Just slid and slid and slid. Sorry, Maxim, if that was my fault. Uh, I thought I, I kept enough space, but apparently not. <laughs> no, I was sliding. Yeah, I saw that happening. <laughs> Yeah, you just got to be so careful under brakes. If you go even just a little bit deep, you just slide and then there's no way you can pull it up again. So that was what happened there. Just got a little bit out of shape and just kept, go behind kept really sliding. The gaps now, 3.1 seconds. Alright, let's see if we can close the gap. No, it's nothing like the RSR to drive, completely different. Oh, it's got it's understeering. Cook my tyres. There's my skid marks from the incident. Yeah, Maxim's a champ. She's uh, not one to get upset. Where is she? Yeah, way less forgiving than the RSR. Come on, Heike, push! What I'm gonna do is if Maxim's still near me at the end, I'm going to let her pass me again. Yeah, it's much more similar to the cup car. Jones, 140.8. 140.8, oh my goodness. <laughs> Your lap time was yeah, 143.2. I wouldn't say it's, it's faster than the old cup car. It's a little bit more forgiving, I think. Like the back end doesn't, like if you lock up, the back end doesn't just want to loop on you straight away like the old cup car did. Although that's changed a little bit in the more recent builds too, so. Okay, well, we'll need to pit to refuel by lap 20. That's all right, we'll be finished by then. Seven minutes to go. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 6.5 seconds. Like you can see there, I got a bit of a power slide going and it was, you know, I was able to kind of control it, so.
Oh, somebody's had an off. Who was that? Whacker. Oh no. <laughs> P8. Where's Maxim now? She's seven seconds behind me. Oh, I was hoping she'd be closer. I was going to let her pass again. If I let her pass again now, it'll be way more of a gap. We'll see what's happening towards the end. It's not a championship race or anything, so it doesn't really matter. But no, I really enjoy driving it. I think once you master it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm still kind of learning where its limits are. But you can really, you can just drift it around and it's a lot of fun. I think it's, I guess one word I'd use to describe it is it's very communicative. Communicative? <laughs> communicative. Communicative. It lets you know what's going on quite, quite well. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't sort of just feel like it's going to bite you at any given moment. Yeah, it definitely doesn't have ABS. That was at 142.8. Unless there's some way to switch it on that I'm not aware of. No, there's no damage. She definitely doesn't have damage because we don't have damage switched on. So it's not that. It's dropping right back now. There's nine seconds behind now, unfortunately. Is now so it doesn't, it doesn't have a doesn't have ABS in real competition. Okay, that makes more sense then. Somebody said before that it did, so I was like, hang on, what? <laughs> yeah, they don't want damaged cars driving around. So that's probably it. But the braking markers around this circuit are very similar to the cup car. So I'd say, yeah, if you, if you like driving the cup car and you, you're familiar with it, you'll be able to take to this quite well. Your last lap time was at 143.1. Okay, well, the cup times are pretty consistent. Ah, uh, that makes sense, Daniel. Thanks, man. Daniel always, always has all the answers. <laughs> Appreciate you, mate.
Final lap, okay. Yeah, I think she's too far behind now. One more lap to go. That last lap was at 143.0. That's right, I was forgetting that Tom uh, Tom works there, yeah. That makes more sense now. <laughs> We've got our um, GT3 league race happening tonight as well, so I'm going to sleep all day, I guess, and then do that. Oh, man. Tires are shot. <laughs> Okay. The gap behind has increased to 4.2 seconds. The guys behind are struggling. Yeah, it's Hockenheim. All the details are down in the description. Lovely, Tony, lovely. Did you hear Okay, well, the next car is Valet. Hey, Gerald. Nice job, man. Nice job. All right, how did we go? Woo! Hey, Emily, they're going to pull you in for a rock. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really, really nice car to drive, I think. Around. As I said, when you, when you get used to it, it's going to be a lot of fun. User left your channel. Check and flags out. Uh, how do we go? So we're reverse grid for the next race, I think. So who won? Emily Jones won. Jared third. Or Jardir. Tony Kanan came second. User was moved out of your channel. All right, so we've got a 10 minute warm up quickly. Surprise, surprise, Emily won, huh? <laughs> Can't say I'm particularly surprised about that. What a machine. Go put the kids to bed, Lawrence. Thanks for jumping in, mate. Appreciated. Ah, oh, no, that was slow. I was, yeah. Anyway, we'll see what we can do in the reverse grid race. Yeah, I mean, these guys are faster than me. There's it no, clear. you know, I, I never had any expectation of being on pace with these guys. So <laughs> I have done practice starts. I don't know what happened there. The track temperature's rising. It's now 42 Celsius. You give it a little bit too much throttle and uh, yeah, it's all over. No, I'm not sandbagging. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll show you the practice start. Hang on. I'll show you how we launch. So. The way I figured it out, and I did spend a bit of time doing this, is clutches in. I got the I got the two stage clutch here, so a little bit of revs. Okay, so it's just lighting up now. I don't, wasn't doing that before. It must be because the track's not as grippy as it was. So maybe that's the go. Yeah. Might just have to do that, I think. I mean, it's not going to make a difference anyway. Because we know if I get a good launch, I'm just going to get taken out in the first few corners anyway. So we'll just take it nice and easy. I'm more interested in just kind of enjoying the car, showing you guys and talking about it rather than, you know, trying to be competitive. So all good. User was moved to your yeah, well, I can, if I do 100% throttle and then drop to 45%, which is what I've got my bite point set to roughly it just uh it just blows up so i'll show you hang on just yeah it just spins the tires every time so i think slow and steady is going to be the go that's the end of the session p3 okay we're advancing to the race 
We've got a couple of practice starts there. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do. Grid. Good luck, guys. Have a fun. Have fun. All right. We'll just try not to take anybody out, huh? Select boys and girls. You shall not pass. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lamau pictures. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, it is a little lower. It is a little lower than 40, but I can't adjust it now. I don't have time, so that's all right. Well, I'm not too worried about the launch anyway. We'll just launch it nice and easy. Hey, your car from the rear looks the most beautiful. With that gold red, it's so cool. Thank you. It's not my skin, but thank you. Anyway. Nice, white, the track temp is 41 Celsius. Here we go, be ready. Do it. Green, green, green. That wasn't so bad. Somebody got a good launch. Right side. Already had a big tap. Play right. On your right, play right. Oh, we got net code. You need to give back the time gained. Sorry guys, my bad. Right Massive side. net code. Hold your line. Hold your line. Yeah, motion's Hold your on. Line. Hold your line. Three wide, Tony, still there. Dead Suzuki and Tony Ganaan. Still there. Ouch. Hold your line. I, I Hold your line, like clear right. First grade. Just, Sanchez, just by the left side, clear left. Okay, we're still alive. I all good. I did the same uh, in the last race, basically. If that was the cup car, I would be dead. <laughs> the old cup car, I should say. On your right, play right. See if we can hold on. Somebody missed the heavy. Like I said before, though, if you lock up, you're gone. Like, as soon as you lock up, you're just gone. So. It's all about brake mastery, and I haven't quite got the hang of it yet. Car right. What? Clear oh. right. <laughs> I think right. he did the same thing as I did to Maxim there. Probably had a lock up there. Once I got the car right call, it was too late. Just done a 
Well, we're holding position at least. We're not getting absolutely swamped, which is encouraging. <laughs> I thought we might get absolutely destroyed. On your right. Clear right. Where are you going? Right. <laughs> Clear right. Had to back Come out on, of it. Will. Keep pushing. We might get him back. Lost both Stewart's positions. If I turned in, it would have been a crash though. That's a shame. If I turned in, it would have been a crash. So, I had to just back out of it. Thank you. Oh, we got Tony behind us. See if we can uh, see if we can stay ahead of him. <laughs> We're trying to be aggressive. We're trying to be fair but aggressive. The gap behind is now 0.7. No, it's not available until next week, or this this coming week, Wednesday, I think. Well, I'm beating Tony. I'm happy about that. <laughs> we'll need to pit for fuel by lap 20. Go on, take each other out, boys. The next car is Valet. These two are going at it, far out. Little slide. We seem to have lost Maxim, I think. Tony's all over me. Mistakes. That lap time was 142.0. Still behind me. gonna go for it this time, I bet. Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. Come on, mate. Defend your position. I am! I am, Jim! Yeah, it's cool how it says the name, huh? Hey, ARF Remy, how you doing? P9, sector two's a second off the pace. Well, we're staying with them. I don't know what happened to Maxim. Oh no, there she is, she's behind me. The gap in front has increased. 
east. It's now about 0.8. 11 seconds behind, apparently. Yeah, I prefer it to the old cup car. It's definitely a little bit more forgiving than the old one. So it doesn't have that um, it doesn't have that back end trying to overtake you characteristic under brakes. All right, well the next car is Valet. It's definitely like it's more rewarding because it doesn't just bite you unexpectedly. Like you can power slide it around corners. You, it just it's more confidence inspiring. Little lock up there from Tony. Well, we're staying with him for the most part. I'm pretty happy about that. Well, trading paints is pretty much an essential if you want to be able to see what other people are driving. I, yeah, I mean, it doesn't give you any performance hit. It just sits there in the background, does its thing. So yeah, 100%, I wouldn't run iRacing without it. Yes, just baseline setup. I don't have any problem with the force feedback in it. It's quite good. I mean, it, like I said before, it's quite a communicative car, like communicative. Can't get that word right today, probably because it's 4am. Who's that off? No, I, I mean, I don't generally have a problem with iRacing's force feedback anyway. Like, I ran IRFFB for a while and didn't really find it helped me all that much. So, I don't know. Sanchez is leading the race. The Capito Ballet ahead is now 1.9. Yeah, I mean, some people absolutely swear by IRFFB. I know Gamer Muscle won't play without it, but for me... Yeah, I mean, I've tried it with every wheelbase that I have. And yeah, I just didn't really find it made me feel anything more that I needed to feel, really. I guess because I've got motion as well, though. I get that seat of the pants feel anyway. I think that's probably a big contributor to it. Maybe without that seat of pants, I don't know. Coming into the final lap. Emily is amazingly fast. It's just the last lap. That was a 142.8. Not even fair. <laughs> I mean, she does play iRacing a lot, but <laughs> there is some 
supreme talent there. I mean, that's why I, that's why I gave her my old um, HE Ultimate pedals because like I just love what she's doing. Like you know, she's just dominating everything she does. She just dominates. It's Jones is it's now awesome. It's good to have another Aussie. The gap two. Well, there's been a big crash by the looks of things. It's now 3.3 seconds. Sorry. I hear Jardir saying sorry. Yeah, there's definitely a reason why she's part of McLaren Shadow. And she's just such a nice person as well, like, she's just such a humble... And like, watching her streams, she's just so chilled, like, you just feel like you're hanging out with a friend, you know? It's... Yeah, i got a lot of respect for her, if you can't tell. Yeah, she's... she's... she's not... I think her... her boyfriend does some, um real life motorsport I can't remember I think he was in the I think he might have been in the 86 the Toyota 86 Cup or something the Toyota 86 series in Australia don't quote me on that but he's definitely involved in real life motorsport in some capacity great race to go Gizzy fantastic race thank you very much well done Emily Javier alright Papo 8th <laughs> place there's the checkered flag Good race, boys and girls. It was a lot of fun, thanks guys. Did you see Emily? That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that's his name, Jake. Yeah, you're right. He's a really nice guy too. I chatted to him a couple of times when I was helping to put together the um, TR80 rig. Just nice people. I like nice people. So there you go, guys. That is the cup car. I think we're supposed to bring it back around to the pits. I don't know. Mendel, Mendel. User Do some donuts. <laughs> Try not to whack. Oh! <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> We got flying cars. All right, let's jump out. We'll have a look at the. I'll let you guys have a quick look at the car as well in the in the replay while we're here. You guys wanted to have a look at the garage screen too, so here we go. Let me uh, switch across to replay screen. Oh, what's going on here? Let me get that fixed up for you. Give me a second. We should get a picture. There we go. Okay. So uh, it might just be because it's a fixed setup or in beta, but that's that's what I can see now. But yeah, don't take my don't take my word for it. There may be more. We got a adjustment here for display pages, brake bias, obviously. But yeah, there may be some more adjustment. I don't know. That's what I can see though. And. Uh, yeah, it does have, I did notice with traction control, and again, I don't know because it is in beta and yeah, I, but if I go into options and then uh, controls, I was able to map uh, engine modes here, not traction control. I don't see, doesn't look like I can map traction control for this one, but brake bias and fuel mixture look like they are adjustable. Dash page adjustment, and that's about it, so... It does look like it's exactly like the current car, doesn't it? From that, um, from that garage screen. I'll give you a quick look at the outside too. User was moved out of your channel. Let's, uh, if we can. Second and third, if you guys are still in here, if you can hear me, can you unmute your mic in Let's, Team Speak? Uh, have a little look around the car. You're talking about the first race, right, Travis? Oh, sorry, the second race, right? Yeah, yeah, second race. Copy that. She's a nice looking car. Go around this way. User disconnected from your channel. Let's go up a little bit, have a look at the top, fly around the back.
probably should have changed camera Tony, angles, I th but let's flick Tony, I think here. they might get you if you got time. I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure who else was streaming. Yeah, I guys, assume everybody uh, that was I, in here was streaming, but I don't know. Down, but I can go back on it if you want. Let me spin around here. Actually, I'll just change cameras so we get a better view of yeah, that. Yeah, if you could. Do, 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 do. Yep, one sec. Go chase, that will work. And then go back to here. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Yeah. Nice looking car. All right, I'm back. There you go. We'll do a little bit of chase cam as well, so you can see sort of vaguely how it um, Thank you. vaguely how it handles. Let me get out of this. We'll go far chase, and let's follow one of the people that actually know what they're doing. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to Emily. And let's uh, let's follow her around for a couple of laps, so you get a sense of how the car. User was moved to your channel. User She's probably so stable that it's not going to do much. Can you unmute yourself and can you speak, Tony? Look how precise she is. She's like hitting every single line spot on. But look, it's pretty compliant. Like when you're not overdriving it, I think that's probably what I was, the mistake I was making, I was probably overdriving it a little bit. When you're actually a competent driver like Emily is, you can see it's quite well balanced. It's quite stable. She just... She's using every single millimeter of the road. Like she's User just so precise, and she's only running. User I think she's still running on a single channel. screen as well, isn't she? Hey, Will, you got a copy? Yep, gotcha. Are you uh, able to turn on uh, your camera for the zoom, and we'll talk to you if you want? I can try. Yeah, I'll um, see if I can right. get it going. All right, I got to jump in and interview quickly, so I'll let you guys watch this. You were moved. We'll wait for you to get on Zoom well before we throw you in there. User left your channel. <sighs> Just try to get this working. I can't have the Zoom chat thingy working at the same time as this because Australian internet. <laughs> Channel. Hey Will, do you still have the uh, Zoom link from the email or do you want me to send it to you again? Yeah, I'm just trying to get in. Just trying to get okay, it working. Cool. User left your channel. Alright. Gonna jump back out to there we go. All right, I'm just gonna pause this for a second and go back to the in car. Cockpit. We'll do this interview and then we'll wrap things up. All right. Just gotta wait for them to call me, I guess. <laughs> All 
Well, guys, um, yeah, I might wrap up the stream here. We're going to do an interview over on the Porsche Twitch thing, I think, but there's not much more to talk about here. Um, yeah, hit me up in the comments afterwards. We can chat about it some more, but thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm going to do this interview, go get some sleep, and then, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again, hopefully this evening, or this evening, my time at least, for the GT League race, GT3 League race. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you all later. Bye. Thank you.